I am Jamie and this is the vlog for September 11th, 2020. It's about 10 a.m. Only been up for maybe an hour, hour and a half. Um, my family's just kind of lazing around in bed today, which is fine. Because we are stuck in the house, um, it is very smoky outside. Um, you can't really see it through the window behind me. Let me see if I can pull up the current air quality index for us is, oh, that was at 7 a.m. Let me find something a little more current because it's been changing uh, pretty quickly. We usually have a little tiny pocket view of the Sinclair Inlet. Can't see the water. You can't really see the neighbors. <laughs> um, so it's pretty, pretty legit right now. Okay. Air quality index. Gov. It is currently at 180. And it's been climbing all morning since I've been awake. Once it hits 200, it will be in the hazardous zone, which is uh, don't leave the house. Um, 180 is really borderline for us because, I mean, we don't have air conditioning, so there's nothing filtering our air in the house, but we have all the windows closed and it's a pretty good seal. You don't smell smoke when you walk around the house. Um, in the car, at least we have air conditioning. So as long as you don't get out, <laughs> you have some sort of filtration that may actually make the air a little better than in the house and cooler than in the house because it's not, it's not a cold day by any stretch of the imagination. I am in this for psychological comfort and I'm drinking a nice hot cup of coffee for psychological comfort. I'm not for physical comfort. Um, so, you know, my history with wildfires and smoke, um, and there's like always this kind of mild level of panic that hangs around. <laughs> Plus, you know, it's great to have a pandemic right now. But I think we found our normal with the pandemic to a degree um, and how we know how to function and operate and get by safely for us and all that. Um, but it is also September 11th, which is, um, and if you're watching this, you know, it's the day the, uh, a bunch of planes were hijacked around the United States and the Twin Towers, the uh, World Trade Centers in New York, um, crumbled uh, after passenger jets crashed into them, uh, part of the Pentagon, um, and another flight that the, the um, passengers uh, kind of had heard what was going on and saw what was going on, and they crashed their jet before it became a problem, after it had been hijacked which is crazy intense. Um, so I spent some time this morning listening to some of the messages, the people who were calling from the World Trade Center who had time to call and say goodbye and tell their loved ones that they loved them. And it is still hard to hear today. Um, that day I was awake for work and going about my usual routine, I was driving from my parents' house to my then fiance's house, um, my first husband. Uh, we were getting married in December of that year. And uh, usually I'd pick him up, we'd go to the gym, we worked at the same building, so we'd go to work. And I went to go pick him up, and the DJs I was listening to on the radio, on the morning show, that was a thing, <laughs> uh, were usually super peppy and funny, and they were dead silent. And I was trying to figure out like what was going on if it was just dead air. And then you hear them choke up and sob and say, oh my God, then tell you about it. What was going on with one of the planes crashing. My dad was traveling for business. Hi, sweetie. And um, headed out and we couldn't get a hold of him and we didn't have his flight information. Um, so for all we knew, um, he, was, he was headed that direction. That was what we knew. Um, it took us about six hours to be able to get a hold of him to find out he was not dead. And in fact, he overslept his alarm and did not make his flight. And somebody in standby was in his seat. So, I did not lose my dad September 11th of 2001. 2001. Um, got another 13 years before cancer took him. A lot of people were not so lucky. They went to work that day and they didn't come home. And I know this happens every day. 
there are accidents all the time. Um, with the heavy settling of smoke outside, it's eerie that it's on September 11th too, because it definitely um, calls to mind all the people who were in the area when the, when um, these buildings fell and just were filled with smoke and rubble and debris throughout the streets. And with all the fires going on right now, um, it's uh, it's eerie. It just is. It's. I wish I had a better way to put it. It's creepy and saddening and um, hard. So we're going to spend a lot of time inside today. We might try to go make a, a run to the store here just to get out of the house a little bit, maybe pick up a school lunch um, before the air quality gets worse because it's not going to get better today, probably. Let's refresh. Nope, still at 180. That's about nine points up from when it woke up this morning. So um, that's where we are. Today is uh, going to be kind of rough, but it is at least quiet, and there is time and space to sit with things. Um, it's tough because even the outdoor school kids can't go outdoors. Uh, schools have been canceled that are outdoors because of the air quality. We're hoping this won't last through the weekend. And when I look at where our cabin is supposed to be, they have better air quality than we do. And there are no fires between right now, between us and getting there and getting out comfortably. So I'm, we're going to talk about it today. Um, see if we're going to, uh, do it or cancel. Um, and, uh, and that's where we're at seven minutes in. I've got so much more going on, but I have no way to find words for it. It's a, it's just kind of a quiet sort of terror that just like lingers there for the smoke and the fear and, and the remembrance uh, of today, 19 years ago. It's weird that they're teaching kids in storybooks things that I lived through as a young adult. Um, and I hope they're doing a good job of it. Um, but it is what it is, and I am going to sit and finish my coffee and just kind of take my mind off things for a little bit, so. Uh, this is Jamie. Today is going to be rough. Hopefully tomorrow will be better.